Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about three things that I took from my military training and actively use while playing Escape from Tarkov. Now, it's going to sound kind of funny, like, hey, you're using military training comparing it to a video game, but you'll be surprised how much this actually correlates to Escape from Tarkov to a degree. Granted, it is still a video game, so there are video game, you know, theories and stuff in there. So, so credibility, I served three years 25th infantry division two years 101st airborne division as a scout in the united states army for a total of five years so i did a lot of walking around the woods a lot of rucking all that good stuff you know air assault all the all the shits and bangs but i also want to go ahead and say thank you for the likes and subscribes and everything that's happened in the past couple like weeks we've really been blowing up on this channel so i really appreciate it i'm glad you guys are enjoying the shorts I really try to make them as funny as possible and try not to use the same memes as much as possible. There are some duplicates, granted, I know. Sometimes it's just hard to find the right clip for the right situation. But let's go ahead and continue on with the video, guys, and let's start with number one. All right, so one of the things that I use constantly while I was in the military, this was being a scout, is scanning. There's a specific way that you want to scan things. Most people are taught when they're no, traditionally, in America at least, reading is from left to right. When you're scanning for objects that you want to pick out in particular, you want to scan from right to left. That way nothing blends in from left to right. Your brain will pick up on things from right to left more easy than picking up on things from left to right. Because you're not used to reading from right to left. I found this especially useful on situations like this, like especially this globe on reserve. But more particularly, I find it very useful on maps like streets and woods. All right, let's start with tip number two, which I think a lot of people should actually uh, really be mindful of is when you're sprinting. Now this doesn't really go from the military, but it kind of does. But when you are sprinting, make sure that you have at least over 50% of your stamina bar when you get to your destination. You do not want to be running around out here in these open fields or pushing to a building and go in there out of breath, shaky and all that in Tarkov. That is probably one of the quickest ways to die because all your shots are going to be off and you're not even going to have a chance to run out if you need to or run to the nearby room and you'll just be a sitting duck. So I would definitely keep that in the back of your head. 50% above stamina bar at all times unless you absolutely no shit have to get there. All right, third tip, probably a very important tip. When you are running anywhere, it could be outside in Tarkov, if you bring it to a building, you want to stop to perform seals at some point upon your arrival. Now, what is seals, right? So seals in the military, how we use it is stop, look, listen, and smell. Now, clearly you cannot smell in Tarkov because this is a video game. So you're really just gonna stop, look, and listen. I mean, you're gonna get there, you're gonna stop, I'm going to give it about 30 seconds to a minute. Make sure I don't hear anyone else around me. And then I'm going to pick up and continue to move. This can save you. This is a very, very good thing that can save you. If you're running into a new building, you don't know someone's upstairs. If you come in here just running around like a fucking mad elephant, you're clearly going to die because he's going to hear you coming up there. But if you stop on the first floor, give it a second, you might be able to hear him shuffle or something and then give you a fighting chance. This clip right here is a prime example of why you should clear the building out. There is no reason I should have lived at all through the situation when there's only one of me and four of them. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I really, guys, hope you enjoyed my insight from my military experience to Tarkov and how it kind of correlates. Again, thank you guys for all the support this previous week. I really appreciate it and I'm eternally grateful for it. 
Uh, please take care of yourself. Go to the gym. And uh, if you have any more tips that you guys, any of the veterans out there in this community, hey, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks. Peace.